And joining me now is Biden campaign co-chair Cedric Richmond. Cedric, thank you so much for joining us this Thanks morning. For me. Uh, how do you expect President Biden is going to take this head on with the first real moment where millions of Americans are going to be tuned in? Well, I think he's going to do his best, and I think he's going to show to the American people the differences between the two candidates. And it's not about age, it's about the ideas, it's about the vision, it's about who cares for who. Donald Trump wakes up every morning uh, trying to figure out how to benefit Donald Trump. President Biden wakes up every morning worrying about the American people, how to uh, fight inflation, how to help the economy, all of those things that are facing American people. And I think you're going to see that tonight. Of course, the Trump campaign uh, has been uh, reprising uh, something that they've used uh, in 2016 and 2020 uh, by preemptively suggesting that there will be substances enhancing President Biden's performance tonight. How do you, I mean, even one congressman said, oh, he's going to be doing Mountain Dew. How do you respond to that? Well, I was in Congress when Donald Trump was president. He lied 20,000 times. So this is just par for the course of uh, former President Trump and his backers. And so you will see uh, President Biden, you will see his character. And no matter how calm uh, former President Trump is, it won't stop the fact that he will continue to make up stuff and he will continue to make it all about himself. And I think people are going to see that. Yeah. Uh, so. Byron Donalds uh, is a, a Trump supporter who has been working on outreach to uh, the black community. Uh, and he held an event uh, here in Atlanta uh, where President Trump called in. And I know the Biden campaign responded to this uh, last night. I'm hoping to get your uh, personal take on it. Let's just show uh, what happened, how uh, the former president, Donald Trump, uh, spoke at this event. Let's listen. Since that happened, the black support, I, I think my representatives will tell you this, the black support has gone through the roof. Yes, it has. And I guess they equate it to problems that they've had. But since this has happened, like uh, the mugshot, that's <laughs> the, the number one mugshot of all time. He's, of course, talking about his criminal conviction. Your response? I think it's absolute foolishness. Uh, but it's typical Donald Trump. Uh, African Americans, especially African American men, uh, do not gravitate to you because you are a convicted felon. It's what black men care about is the economic prosperity and opportunity that they have in their community and what's going to help them uh, support a family, what's going to help them with entrepreneurship. So while Donald Trump talks about, oh, black men are going to like me because I'm a convicted felon, I have a mugshot, I sell cheap gold tennis shoes, President Biden is going to uh, reiterate that unemployment in the black community is at an all-time low, entrepreneurship is at an all-time high, he's closed the racial wealth gap, the closest it's ever been. And so that's what you will see. And I think that that's one of the greatest examples of how the two individuals approach things. Again, this is about Donald Trump. Hey, I'm a convicted felon, so black men are going to like me. And President Biden, who says, I want to empower black men. I want to help them create businesses. I want to help them uh, achieve their wildest dreams and create and amass all the wealth they can. And I think that's a clear difference. Do you think that President Biden should call Donald Trump a convicted felon on stage tonight? Well, he has before. And look, if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. He's a convicted felon. And that's just who he is. And by the way, he's a twice impeached convicted felon. And so it wasn't Joe Biden that did that. Uh, it was 12 American patriots who served as jurors that found him guilty unanimously on 34 counts. And so I'm not sure if the president will or not, but I certainly will. He's a convicted felon. So one of the things we've been talking about as well this morning is the degree of personal animosity and how each one of these candidates are going to deal with the other as they, f they take the stage for the first time since they last met on a debate stage. President uh, then President Trump did not attend President Biden's inauguration. Uh, should President Biden shake Donald Trump's hand? Does he deserve that? Well, that's up to President Biden. And uh, I'm sure there's no love lost there. Uh, I wouldn't shake his hand. Uh, I was in the Capitol when he sent insurrectionists, the Proud Boys and others to the Capitol, uh, chanting, hang Mike Pence, looking for Leader Pelosi, all of those things. I was there that day. And uh, because of that, I don't think I would. But President Biden um, has consistently, he rises above uh, pettiness, uh, unlike Donald Trump. So I would leave that uh, up to him. But uh, what I've been through with the former president, I certainly would not. 